Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Are you guys ready for some magazine flip <laughs> some magazine flip throughs? I am. I'm ready to sit down. I miss my magazines. I love going through these and finding old patterns and old ideas. So you guys, get yourself something to drink, sit back, relax. Um, actually, while I'm at it, I don't know if I've ever introduced you guys. Pooksy. Spooks. Come here, kitty, 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 kitty. Come here, kitty, 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 kitty. Come here. I want you guys to see our outside girl. Come here, Pooksy. If she would come here. And of course, she wants to go under all the cameras, or cameras, the lights. Come here, Pooksy. Now, I do have a white sweater on, and I don't want to get all of her fur all over me. But this is Pooksy. She has got, like, the world's loudest meow in her little fangs. Usually, her tongue will stick out, but I'm trying to get her to do it, but she ain't doing it. Um... I just wanted to introduce you to her. Come on, get your tongue out. That's okay. All right, you can go. There you go. There, you're squeaking. Wow. I want her tongue to be hanging out because you guys, there's times we look at her and like, you know, we're just doing what, you know, whatever. And we turn and we look at her and this is what we see. <laughs> and her tongue's just hanging out and her little fangs. Pooksy, quit. And she, I got her hair on me. Pooksy. She is a pain. She gets into everything. Like right now, she's trying to chew the plastic. Quit. Okay, you can go now, Pooksy. Okay, anywho, so, sorry about that. Um, I have two magazines I picked out, and I've got my chapstick on, and I, when I kissed her, her hair got all over me. But anyway, I grabbed two because I think one of them... Um, one of them is called Women's Circle Crochet, and I'm not 100% sure if it's going to have a whole lot of uh, crochet to show you. Oh, excuse me. So I thought, well, I'll just grab two. Oh, dang it. Sorry. And um, we might just have a long episode. So this one is from Winter 1991. Make sure there's no address to show. That bear is adorable. And can you see he's got a little hook? And then a little yarn. <laughs> Cute. So we have prom dress patterns for Barbies. I have to show you guys this. So if you look at this Barbie, you notice how it looks like her head's been squished on her, her neck post. I had so many Barbies like that because my twin sister would get mad at me for something and then she'd rip the head off my Barbie. So when I put them back on my Barbies, their like their head wouldn't go normal. It would go squished on the little neck post thing. All of my Barbies look like that. <laughs> Here is an order form for a creative Afghan kit and a crocheted rug, which this rug is stunning. It's very eye-catching, but one of these Afghans is too, and I think you guys could probably pick which one's my favorite. Kitties. I think that is so cool. I wish you could still get these. I wonder if I could... It's called the Perfect Afghan. What? Oh, well, dang it. It says that the perfect Afghan uh, to buy the kit was $36.95. And then it says, as seen on page 11 of Women's Household Crochet Winter 91. And I was like, well, this is Winter 91. Is it? And then I realized it says Women's Circle. And this says Women's Household Crochet. 
Dang it. But anyway, here is that rug. That is pretty. I like that a lot. What, uh, here's the contents, a table of contents. We have an embroidered hooded baby sweater, an Afghan stitch Noel pullover, and, uh, oh, yeah, that's it. That is very pretty. And then here's that pullover. Sounds like she's into something. Here's a Christmas tree topper, a star tree topper. It's cute. It looks like they used uh, maybe cotton yarn and then held a strand of like gold thread throughout it. It says Coates and Clark South made crochet cotton, but it doesn't say anything about a holding a thread through it. Huh. Maybe that's just the, the way the yarn was. This is cute. Santa and snowman hot pads. <laughs> it looks like, just by looking at it, they carried the yarn, the blue, throughout the snowman. <laughs> Add now this is pretty white star Afghan. So the yellow in the Afghan I think is um maybe the discoloration of the page. I don't think it's the yarn because it says Red Heart Super Sport Hi. What are you doing? Red Heart Super Sport uh, Cream. But this is pretty. I bet that's made in blocks. No, it's an Afghan stitch. Oh. I see. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, um, Tunisian. I about said ta uh, tapestry. Tapestry? Tapestry? There's an ad for quilts. It's the same girl throughout this magazine. A multicolored crocheted sweater. Bright and cheery. This lovely pullover will add color to a gray day. She makes me think of Sally Struthers in um, All in the Family. She don't look like her that much, but I don't know why I instantly think of her. But I love that sweater. It's a lot of work in those stripes. The stitches in the stripe, like, you know, here, there, that. That's a lot of work. It's cute, though. Here she is again with a different sweater on. A uh, gold fleck bolero. Uh, 
I'm not feeling this one. I don't know what it is. I just, I'm not liking this one. Now this one says red heart baby yarn and then a strand of uh, Coates metallic thread, five spools, and then they're carrying the yarn and the thread throughout the bolero. Okay. Oh, excuse me. I don't know. Just, I'm not feeling this one. Maybe it's just me. Hear the past come alive with the good old days now on cassette. Enjoy the epic tales and anecdotes of days gone by with this classic collection of audio cassettes from the editors of Good Old Days magazine. That's cute. Pattern, pattern. Oh, we have a Thai elephant and a pilot whale. I wonder what a pilot whale is. I've never heard of that. I'm going to go behind my magazine and scratch my nose. That looks like a shark. But that elephant is adorable. Look at his little feet. <laughs> Can you guys tell it's been a long day? Ugh. What is this? It's called Gems from Joan. I think people are writing in and asking her questions, but it's more, I enjoy what you wrote. Um, so this one is from San oh wait a minute. Yeah. Sandy Lake, Manitoba, Canada. Hi Joan, I really <clears throat> enjoy your column. I am looking for crochet patterns for 13 to 15 inch bed dolls with hats and frilly dresses. My favorites. <laughs> uh, also I would like to know where to find baby outfits and afghans. I will appreciate your help so very much. And then she just says, uh, buy them from here. Um, yeah, they, they don't really have much. Don't really have much um, in that. It's basically just people asking where they can get stuff and her saying you got to buy it from this. Now this is interesting. This is called a triangle afghan. And I'm noticing there's large motif make 204. Small make 10. So oh that must be the edge. But look at that. It just it just looks like granny So okay. Let me find something to point with. So if you look, it looks like right here is a triangle and there, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. Yeah. Coming together. And that's what creates that hole right there. And it looks like that's just what it is all over the, the Afghan. That's interesting. A little confusing but I like it look at the little the graph that's the graph and then here that's the 204 and then here's the 10 but if you look like if you pick a center point right here and then see where all of the points come together I think that's what that big hole is right there huh that's weird not sure. I'm trying to think of how to politely say it. I'm not, I don't think I'd like that. I'd be a fan of that. Different. I mean, I've never seen anything like that. So we have two doilies and a little windows afghan. Huh. 
I, I think that's just supposed to be like a lapkin kind of thing because it's little. But here's the doilies. I like that one. Looks like a starburst in the middle. And then here's the afghan. Which it kind of, if you look at it, like it's hanging on what looks like on a towel rack. I, I When I first looked at it before I read the... Um, read the pattern I thought it was a a, a towel or a, a oh uh <laughs> over a window dang it a curtain <laughs> I thought it was a curtain but it says it's a blanket So that must be an awfully big yeah that must be an awfully big rack because that blanket is made out of worsted weight yarn and a six millimeter hook and you start with a chain of 205 so you probably start here this length and then work the pattern this way okay that makes sense now I gotcha. Oh, this is cute. A little toddler's cardigan. See, I like this. I like simple. You know, the fact that you made it is what makes it, makes the piece, you know, stand out. But there's no fancy stitches, no fancy color work. I like that. You can dress it up or dress it down. This is a really grown up design for your favorite young toddler. Ooh, I just saw something I really like. Um, so here's the bear that's on the front, and it looks like his legs aren't even stuffed. It looks like they're just stitched to the bottom, like to the little butt of the bear. See his legs right there? I th I love his face. His face is adorable. He's got little Google eyes, or goggle eyes. What are you? What are they called? Oh, wiggly eyes. <laughs> not, not what I said. And it's made out of Aunt Lydia's rug yarn. All of the white on the bear is rug yarn. I still want to know what rug yarn is. I, I don't know what that is. I ought to write it down to, um, I lost it in my hair to look that up. Would you believe I had a notepad in here and now I have no idea where it's at? Oh, I can't write on that. That's my letter. Oh, here we go. I found it. Look up Aunt Lydia's rug yarn. I'll look on uh, Etsy or eBay or something to see if I can't find a skein. Now, this is what I am liking. I would put big old pockets on this and wear it as a house coat. I love this. I like that a lot. You know, put a big old pocket right here, pocket over here. You have to have pockets. <laughs> Every cardigan I have, if it doesn't have pockets, I don't want it. And I don't. And the funny thing is, I don't even put anything in them. My phone, maybe when I'm walking through the house, or my hands. But you gotta have pockets. And I love the color of that dress, with the. What is it? A cardigan? A coat. That is very very cool. Oh, it says it does have pockets. Pocket liners. I don't see pockets on it. Hmm. Uh, it's made out of red heart, bulky, two-ply, virgin, orlin, acrylic, knit, and crochet yarn. 
25 three ounce skeins. Yeah, I take that back. I would prefer to have a, like a four weight yarn, not a, let's see. yeah, I bet that thing is thick and heavy. Holy cow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen snowflakes. I'm um, trying to think how I can show them to you without showing you the patterns and getting in trouble. So there's that one, that one, that one, that one. And then a few more, but <laughs> I'm just going to leave it at that. Cause I don't want to get in trouble. Cause you guys, I don't want to get in trouble. Okay. So we have a Santa purse or a pendant and he's adorable. Oh, and a wreath pin. I didn't even see that. Do you guys, oh man, did I put that up? Sorry. I just bumped that. I didn't mean to do that. Um, Never mind. Anyway, so this is the Santa and the wreath. He is cute. That's adorable. Perfect for the coat lapel throughout the holidays. Hawaiian angel ornament and a little Christmas bell. And then here's a pepper ornament and a Santa's boot. Uh, yeah. And here's the pepper and the boot. <laughs> well, this is pretty. Oh, wow. So this is a flowers and lace afghan. And then there's also an all seasons basket. What is that made of? Crochet thread. Plastic wrap? Anyway. Look at the... Here's the afghan. But look at those baskets. That is really neat. I wonder how big they are because it says in the supplies or the materials, um, an aerosol can cover, so like instantly my mind goes to uh, like hairspray, like a hairspray can cover, and that's what you're supposed to use to shape the basket. So that seems really little, if that's what it is. Poopsie, please don't do something that's going to make a mess or knock stuff over. Okay, um, yeah, that's it for this one. Well, that was an easy one. Uh-oh, what'd I do? Oh. Okay, so let's go ahead and just go to the next one. And like I said, this one is from 81, February of 1981. And I am not 100% sure if I've done this magazine or not. I happen to come across that I have two of these. So I may have already done it. I don't, I don't know, but this is Crochet World, February 81. Sorry about that. Ooh, I got my hand stuck in my necklace. Okay, so February 81. I was just kind of flipping through this. There are some pretty cute stuff in here. So unfortunately, I'm pretty sure this whole, ma oh, nope, there is color. Okay. There's a small section that I think every it's like a roundup that everything it shows in the magazine and it's all in color. So right now everything I show is just going to be in black and white. 
But um, this is a reversible pillow. So, I mean, it's kind of hard to see. And if I had to guess, I think that is pretty close to the pattern for the baby, the baby boy set that I just finished. It looks an awful lot like that, but we'll have to see once we get to the color picture. There's that. Bunch of pattern. Oh, here we go. Well, maybe it's not. Unless this is the... Hmm. <laughs> I don't know if it's giving you two patterns or if this is one side. If that's one side and that's the other side. I don't know. Here's a round crochet rug with cross stitch and fringe, but it's super hard to see. You can't really tell what it is. Well, I mean, obviously you can tell it's a round rug and there's fringe, but you can't see what the cross stitch is. This is mother's drawstring, oh, excuse me, pouch and a matching daughter's drawstring pouch. I thought it was a tissue box cover. <laughs> Looks like fluffy yarn. My hands are cold and they look funny. Here's a bolero vest. This girl has a really cute face. But I like that vest. Ooh. Seven and a quarter inch pansy doily. Look at the pansies around that. I really like that. Man, I don't know if I've shown this or not. Here's a section where you show it off. Um, everything's in black and white, so it's a little hard to see. So there is that. Look at this. Those are all poinsettias. I love that she's laying on the bed with the picture. That's cute. Then we got her. Looks like she's showing off a cardigan and a um, fedora. <laughs> and... I'm guessing that's Spider-Man, Superman, and Hulk. That's cute. So we got pattern, pattern. Oh, here's a crochet potpourri. These are fun, I like doing these. 28 minutes. I am not gonna be able to read every one of these. Um, due to a small accidental fire, I have lost all of my crochet patterns. That's awful. Could anyone send me patterns or copies of Afghans, small no novelty items, ponchos, toys, or baby things? I'm especially looking for one booklet in particular. It was McCall's Make Makes It Just for Baby. I'll either pay or... A I'll either pay for original or copy. From Troy, Michigan. I have tried everywhere to find a pattern for a round tablecloth about 54 inches in diameter that starts off with a circle of spider webs in the center. It then extends out with three rows of pineapple, ooh, winding up with squares of spider web and scallops. Can anyone help? Um, once I had directions for a crocheted bedspread that had a picture on it, but some of the instructions were in French. Is my heater kicking on? 
It was called Heritage and had 12 inch squares crocheted together from Brooklyn, New York. I am learning to crochet and would like to get patterns that a beginner can understand. I am interested in placemats, doilies, afghans, baby items, and anything else that is easy to make. Would like to hear from you and if I could, or if I can help you in any way, please let me know. That one's from Reddington, California. Holy cow, there's a lot of them. I am a nurse who works in a nursing home. I participate in my patients' activities and our next project is to crochet the American Eagle. The problem, I am unable to buy this pattern. If anyone could help me find this, I would be grateful. Holly, Holly Oak, Massachusetts. I was gonna say something, but I better not. I was going to say, you guys are probably going to make fun of me for the way I just said that, but I've never been able to say that state. Um, here's a graph of a heart. It's like a little pillow. It's called Graphically Yours. Ooh. Crochet and heirloom, filet, baby bonnet, and booties. And it's in color. And then here, here's booties. It looks like white with blue ribbon and then green and then it says pink ribbon but it almost looks purple so here's the blue and or white and blue and then look at this one they're cute ah. <sighs> it's a crocheted baby afghan and a pig in a blanket. How cute is that? Here's the afghan. And look at the little pig. Oh. Looks like it's just a granny square that they turned into a little, little envelope to put the pig in. That's cute. Okay, here's the rug. That's a lot of embroidery. So this says crochet cottage, a Valentine accent pillow and then crochet in style, Valentine shell, and it has a picture of a shirt or like a drawing of a shirt, but I don't see the shirt. I don't see anything that they're talking about anywhere. No. 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 Well, what the heck? It looks adorable. So now I'm just a bunch of ads. Well, dang it. Did I miss it? Oh, there's a bunch of recipes. I'm sorry, not recipes. They are um, to buy, recipes to buy. Well, I'll show you what I was talking about. Let 
and then here's the top. But that's all there is. There's no pictures of it. And look at this. Sleeping Beauty's wall hanging. This unusual wall hanging is sure to captivate your youngster. It's a person in each block. Hold on. I'm trying to get it. There we go. Look how cute that is. <laughs> and then this is a jeans fashion scene. Oh, a West vest. That's cute. So there's pattern, 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 crochet question corner by <clears throat> her. <laughs> um, so I'll read a few of these. We got a little bit, 36. I want to crochet a bracelet, but I want it to hold its shape. Any ideas? Try twisting several pipe cleaners together, crimping the ends together to join them, and work your stitches over them. It will help your work keep its shape and give a nice rounded effect in the bargain. That's cute. That's a great idea. Um, I have a lovely pattern for a baby bonnet to be worked with a size F aluminum hook using baby yarn. It's perfect for the gift I need, but too big. So then it's not perfect. <laughs> Sorry. It's perfect for the gift I need, but too big. I need it for an infant's christening, and it must be smaller. How do I use the pattern and reduce the size? Go down a hook size. Answer, change the hook. <laughs> instead of using an F hook, use a 5 or 7 steel hook instead. Experiment with each of... Or experiment with each on scrap yarn to see which you like best. Either should produce a smaller size or, or by, by affecting a smaller gauge. So for those of you that did not watch this video that I posted, um, the, the last video I did, the crocheting with Alana, I was explaining that um, why I hadn't put out a video in a little bit. And one of the reasons was because I had a migraine and I told you guys in that video that my uh, vision keeps like my, the focus in my eyes keeps like going in and out and it's happening right now. So it's getting a little hard to read. So, and I'm getting frustrated that I cannot read it. So where was I? Oh, experiment with each on scrap yarn to see which you like best. Either should produce a smaller size by affecting a smaller gauge and you will reduce the size of the bonnet without spoiling the design. Question. I love to crochet pot holders, but I never use them because they never seem to they never seem to come out sturdy enough to protect my hands from the heat. How do I make a serviceable pot holder without ruining the effect by adding bulk? If you are using crochet cotton, make two and sandwich one or two thicknesses of sturdy flannel or similar type material in between. Tack it in place and then sew the two crocheted sections together. Um, I am a beginner at crochet. All I can really do well are single and double crochets. I am making a baby set and I want to do a frilly edge on the bonnet and collar of the sack but I need a really easy one. The set is very simple, single crochet. Can you suggest any easy edging that will look like a ruffle when, I'm, when I've am when i finished? Yes, a super easy one. With right side facing you, work three double crochet into each single crochet on the last row of the brim on the bonnet and three double crochet in each single crochet around the collar. The result is a very pretty, soft-looking ruffle that's quick and simple to work. That's it for this time. Hope I've given you a few ideas. Till next time, hope you all, hope all your questions are answered. Sorry about that. That was bugging me. 
Um, well, I think that's it because the rest is Crochet World Index of the first two years. Um, It's basically it's just a big index of a whole bunch of patterns from old from old magazines and then like who made them there's a bunch yeah now it's the ads well I would say we are done for today my eyeballs are bugging me. Ugh. All right. So I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss what's next. And yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.